On problem six, we're still assuming the conditions have been met. So let's jump right into it. A 95% confidence interval, estimating the proportion of people texting as they drive through a particular intersection is that to that. How many people were observed in the sample? So one thing we know, this is a confidence interval for proportion. So it must have been constructed like this. They found p hat, some sample proportion, and then they added and subtracted a margin of error, which for proportion problems is z star times the square root of p hat q hat over n. So there's n, that's what we're trying to figure out, how many people were observed in the sample, the sample size. So let's start figuring out the other pieces of the puzzle. Um, we can start with z star. Z star is the critical value and it's based on this 95% confidence. So Z star uh, can be found using inverse norm. So if we want to cut, if we want to find the middle 95% of the normal distribution, what would our cutoff values be right here? That's what Z star is going to be. It's going to be actually this value right here because it will be our positive cutoff value. Now, if this is 95%, then there must be 2.5% right here, and also 2.5% right here. That's because the area under this entire curve has to add up to 1. So the tail areas must be 2.5%. When we use inverse norm, what it does is it tells us the area to the left of some cutoff value. So if we want z star to be right there, that cutoff, it's going to tell us, we have to tell inverse norm this area right here. This area is 0.95 plus 0 0.025. So we're going to inverse norm 0.975. And what that gives us is, so to do inverse norm, um, push second and then the vars button, which gets you to the distribution function or the distribution menu. Inverse norm 0.975. So z star is 1.9599. Um, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to store this as z because I don't want to round this value. On sample size problems, rounding often causes errors. So to store it, I'm going to push this STO button here, store, and then press alpha and z. You can store it as any variable you want, but this will store it as z, which makes sense here. All right, so I've, I've got that piece. Um, now we need to figure out what p hat is. Here's our interval. Our interval was 0 0.37011 and point to 0.53267. The middle of this interval is going to be what p hat is. So the way to find that is you can use the midpoint formula. This plus this divided by 2. It's really, it's just the average between the two points. So I, I added the, the intervals or the, uh, the bounds of the interval and I get 0.45139. That's what p hat equals. So to get q hat, 1 minus p hat is what q hat is. So in this case, q hat is 0.54861. All right, let's plug in all of our values and see what we get. So going back to here, um, we're trying to figure out what n is. Let's focus on the p hat plus. p hat, instead of plus or minus, let's just do p hat plus z star times the square root of p hat q hat over n has to equal 0.53267. This is the upper limit of our confidence interval. And that's what the plus does. It gives you the upper limit of the confidence interval, while the minus in the plus or minus would give us the lower limit. So. We're going to solve this for n. If we substitute everything in, we have 0.45139 plus or minus z star, which is stored on our calculator, divided by the square root of 
0.45139 times 0.54861 all over n equals this. Okay, step one, let's subtract this from both sides. Let's see what that gets us. Okay. And this value that we just found right here, this is the margin of error. And that's what this piece is. This is the margin of error. So we know our margin of error. I'm going to go back to this notation just to save a little bit of time in writing all these values. Our margin of error is 0 0.08128. Now the next thing we'd want to do is divide both sides by z star. And remember, z is saved on my calculator, so z star is saved on the calculator. So I'm going to say divide this by z. Okay, now we have that value. The next step, because we have this square root sign here, we need to square both sides. So I'm going to square this, and we have that value. So let's see where we're at now. P hat Q hat over N equals 0 0.00171977733. Woo. Um, you know what? I'm going to store this as X. Store as X. So this value is X. Um, if we multiply both sides by N, we get this. P hat Q hat equals N X, because I stored that as X. Um, finally, if we divide both sides by X, we get N. N equals that. So I need to take P hat, multiply it by Q hat, and then divide by the thing I've stored as X. So let's see, here's, a, here's P hat, here's P hat and Q hat up here. All right. So 0.45 139 times 0 0.54861 is that. Divide that by X, and I get 143.99. So it's probably a rounding uh, issue somewhere, but it, it appears the sample size is 144. So to answer the question, N, the sample size, is 144.